In this lesson, we covered the tools dodge, burn, and sponge, and some non-destructive ways to do it. Open up anything you want up here. I'm going to open up her. What I want to do is show you how to make a tool preset since we've started working with the tools. All tools have presets. When we worked on her with the sponge tool, we changed to desaturate. We changed our flow to 10%. And let's make this even harder. We turned off vibrance. We really didn't, but let's say we did. Then we came down here. We had a little tiny brush, and we use our left and right bracket keys to make it bigger or smaller. And let's say, for the sake of argument, as they say, that this is the way I use this tool a whole lot of times. And I don't want to go through the process. Did I make that a 500 pixel brush or a 600 pixel brush? Was my flow 10% or was it 15%? Once you've got it set up like this, click this little button right up here that looks like the sponge. Go ahead and click it. It opens up this panel right here. Click the new button. Now I'll leave the name the way it is. It's saying it's a sponge tool soft with 600 pixel wide brush. Click OK. And there it is. Now I can come out of here. And if I right click on that little tiny arrow right there, go ahead and right click. I'm going to reset all the tools and say, you sure you want to do that? Yeah. Well, everything goes back to the way it was, but now I want to use this tool in my creative way. So I select it down here, come up here and click the sponge, then select this one down here. That's the one we just made. And when I come over here, as you can see, the brush is all set up to go. Tools have presets. Use them if you're using a tool in a particular way over and over again. It just makes perfect sense. On to the next.